Hey guys, this is Malavar TC1. I'm doing the Final Fantasy 15 event for For Whom the Alchemist Exists going on right now. This event is the collaboration event. I already did the level 10, and I'm just going to do the level 20. Now, I haven't started that game not that long ago today. I'm level 20 now, so as you can see, I, I don't have probably that big of enough team to really get that much farther. But we have, um, let me put Noctis on my team. I got him up to level 20. And let me put a few 5 stars. And then you'll be able to see the gameplay here. Somebody asked me in one of my videos if I could show off some gameplay. So this is what I'm doing right now. So that you guys can see the Final Fantasy Tactics style that it is. And let's put another, maybe a level 4 that I have. Maybe that one that's already equipped. That sounds like a good enough option. Yeah, that sounds good. And then I have my subs there actually. Let's put another sub level 4 instead. That would probably be a better option. Okay, and grab a friend to go with us. Oops, didn't mean to pick. I mean to pick somebody else. Let's see who who should we go with. We can grab someone. Grab a high level person. Why not? I think it's somebody I already have, but we'll go with this. And you'll be able to see how you go around the map. How it's kind of like a chessboard, but in a diagonal view. And it's Final Fantasy Tactics, more or less. Prompto and Ignis, of course. They're being met up with the main character here. One of the main characters. There's two main characters. And he's asking for their help in this event. And Gladiolo shows up. And, you know, they decide that they'll help him. Noctis has already come around in the last video. Or not the last video. The um, last round. And if you have him, on your, have him on your team, there's actually a lot of bonuses from bringing all three, all four of them. Um, Noctis... Uh, in hands with Gladiolos, Prompto and Ignis actually have a lot of abilities to use. Um, what's great is you can get these other characters as well in the game. You just have to summon them. The only one that's really guaranteed is Noctis, and that's if you are able to use all your gems on just that step 1, 2, 3. And on step 3, um, you'll get Noctis guaranteed, and then 4 and 5, you just get more of his stuff that will like level him up. And boost him up and you'll see that in the summon video for the summon gotcha that I did and let's get right into it let's see how the here's the fight style it goes into the little chessboard style map you'll see as I move around on it so I don't have control over Ignis Prompto and Gladiolos that's something that then but I do have Noctis here and I could possibly use a move that will reach an enemy let's see yes it does so I can use his his little jump attack that he Throws a sword, boom, gets right up to him. Let's see, we could put my other friends out here. Do I have any moves that reach them? No, that's that's a for myself, that is a Nope, nope. Nope, none of it. It's just all boosting moves. So we will stop right here and set this character in a stance just now. Um she's got a pretty cool move. She can shoot a gun. From a distance, but it doesn't look like that would be a um, wise idea. Let's we'll stop right there. This is the pirate girl, whatever. Oh, and of course, they're gonna attack Noctis because he's freaking awesome. But he has a counter attack, it's one of his passives. It's got all the enemies from Final Fantasy XV as well. This is a great collaboration event. They did a really good job with it. We'll set her here. He'll attack and then he'll get a kill on his back. Oh, never mind. He stunned him, so he does not get it. That just kind of slows the character down, so that's that's unfortunate. This one I don't have control over either. That is the character that is one of the main characters that you don't have control over. <coughs> okay, let's see. Let's attack this guy right here. Because he's weak too. And I'll move back just a little bit so they have to actually walk up to me.
pretty good that um, the Final Fantasy XV characters have pretty good resistances against the things in their event, which is great. And stop right here. So it's a lot of strategy. Get her up here. This is what I was planning on doing. And boom. But you gotta you can't attack on the same space if you already have an ally in a space, so you always have to move people around. Ooh. So one's down and one of my subs will come into play that I have prepared, so that's good. <laughs> Ignis being awesome. Oh, and when they backstab, they get a um, more damage on the enemy, so... Ah. Yes, good job. Get that cannon attack. Okay. This enemy will be attacked by this one. Perfect. Face him towards the enemy, I don't want to be backstabbed again. It's got some good music too. So that's something you appreciate in this game. So if you're really looking for a Final Fantasy Tactics experience with now with Final Fantasy characters, this is the game for you. Before it was just characters that were unique to this game. I think they collaborated with some other stuff, but yeah, for the most part, unique to this game. Oh, I sure I kept her so he doesn't get backstabbed, but it looks like he's going to get him too. That's not that big of a deal. So this guy is one of my lower level guys, obviously I haven't raised him up at all. I've had to uh, spend a little bit of time um, preparing myself for this video because I had already done the level 10 one but then somebody wanted the gameplay so I just wanted to be good to people who, you know, watch my channel, you know, show them some good stuff, so yeah, this is for you, Mr. Put you Down. I think that's what his name was, Mr. Put you Down. I want to get him away from the bow wielder because he's going to keep trying to attack people from a distance and I want him to attack the people who are much stronger. Thanks for the heal. <laughs> it's a pretty cool move. <coughs> Maybe let's see if I can... Well, I can't quite reach him yet, unfortunately. Okay. That's tough. Maybe I can reach with um, Prompto's gun. I, I mean, with um, Noctis's gun. No, it doesn't look like it can. And I don't think I have anything that can reach the end. Okay, those are the two I already checked. <laughs> I have a habit of checking the wrong one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it will reach it. Okay, that's fine. We'll stop right there. He's gonna try to run away. <laughs> Typical. Typical enemies. Still not close enough. Eventually we'll corner him and it will be over, but until then. You can see my little Noctis right there. 
all kind of being all stylish. Oh, barely, barely out of range. <laughs> Corner this this arrow wielder. Hmm. I guess it doesn't work on this enemy. I, th I thought she shot a gun, but I guess I just don't have the right one. Here we go. He's probably going to shoot his weapon. Oh, nope, he didn't. Wow, he tricked me. And he's down. Wizard Man has taken way too long to go down. <laughs> nice. Had a friend, sure, why not? Okay, that's how it, that's how it's done. That's the gameplay. This has been Malvar TC1. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thanks.